Saga 308. Here we are with the Saga 308. And we haven't shot this in a while. About four months. How's that? It needs a, it needs a, a little bit more of a break in, don't it? All right. Swiss ammo. Why am I using Swiss ammo? Don't ask me. <laughs> anyway. It can actually shoot it. It can feed in the magazine. I can't believe it. I mean, in the chamber. So, we're going to give it a try. It's a 178. These are the big boys. Okay, this is 4064 actually. I think 41 grains or 40 40 grains. Not a lot of pot, not a lot of punch, but it actually went in. Okay. This is gonna be 600 yards. Why? It's farther back than I usually I, I'm back here. So I wanted to see the distance if the saga can perform at a longer more than 500, and we don't should. Um the Howie, the Bear Creek, very tight chambers, okay? And I want to go down the list, but the Ariel's in there next. But this is about as loose as the Swiss. None of these other rounds will fit any other than the 308s. And I got the uh, Mauser uh, 1916 Spanish. It will not fit. It will fit in here. So this is weird. So it's awfully got a loose chamber. Now, shoot, these rounds might even have actually tighten up the group since the brass is tight in there. All right, let's get going. Ah, oh, you know, it's just a tad to the tad to the left. Maybe one click call it a day all right that was good i mean yeah it's shooting that, since i got it zeroed in this thing's shooting good as the ar-10 okay i mean it's a 21 inch barrel i mean it's rocking it's rocking i mean i really like this uh, accuracy now the brass reloads uh, could have improved okay so basically these brass loads might have uh, definitely it definitely lift better than steel all right I'll get three of it up.